that drip from my wall. I get that drip from my wall. Alright guys, so today's vlog is gonna be a little bit different. Right now I'm at Hallandale Beach at Sneaker Union USA sneaker store. Let's see what they got guys. This is actually one of the owners of Sneaker Union USA. What's going on guys? It's your boy Vic. Um, make sure to follow us at uh, Instagram at Sneaker Union USA. Appreciate that. Um, they're a buy sell trade store. So let's take a look around. So as soon as you walk in, obviously you guys see the front store, but we do see a bin right there. You want to explain what that bin of piling shoes is? Yeah, to the so we call, we call this the beater box where you can find a little assortment of shoes. You got J's here between 10 and 20 bucks. Can't really go wrong if you want to do some customization, painting, yeah, all sizes, different sizes, mostly adults, but uh, really cheap shoes that you can get for five to twenty bucks, pretty five much. Five to twenty bucks, yeah. it's a steal. Awesome, can't go wrong. Yeah, yeah. And obviously behind us we have this huge sneaker wall. One thing I've noticed about Sneaker Union in USA compared to other sneaker shops is the pricing. Now, if you guys see, like for example, the wool threes that just came out to Nongo, size twelve. Seems like they're almost brand new for $95. We also got some Galaxy foams up here, 600 bucks. Royals for 450, 300. So if you guys see, the prices are very good compared to others. All ranging in different sizes. Some are new, some are used. But if you guys see, LeBron's 170. So as you guys see, this whole entire wall is just filled with deals and steals. If I had to pick one shoe up here, my shoe would probably be this. Obviously these are not my size, but one of my grails, personal. What about you, what would you say? If you had to pick any shoe on this wall, what would you? Uh, if I could only pick one, I'd have to pick one of my all-time favorites, which should be the 88 threes right up there. Okay. But clean as you can get. Yeah. But that Nike Air is authentic. I mean, that just kills yeah, it right exactly. there. Exactly. People love it. You need that in your collection right here. Otherwise, it's definitely incomplete. See a tons of steals and deals, obviously, and sizes ranges from about seven all the way up to 14. Do you have any smaller size for the maybe oh, yeah, the females absolutely. or the kids? We got them under control right here. Take a look. People. Size 6, 85 bucks. Flint 13s, can't really beat that price. Shadow 1s, size 6 and a half, 220. Definitely one of the best shoes that came out as far as the 1s. Must have right here. The Fear 4s, look how clean this is, size 6. Definitely probably one of the cleanest pairs you'll find. For the really small feet, size 3. Got it too. 70 bucks, 100 bucks, can't beat those prices. So as you guys see, they have good prices for adults as well as kids, not just that. But, as uh, you guys see behind me, we have a clothing rack. You guys aren't only a sneaker, even though it is Sneaker Union USA. So this rack is what, is sports clothes? Yeah, or? you got basketball jerseys, football jerseys, baseball jerseys, ranging from current players to former players. LeBron James. And it's definitely good condition. I mean, obviously you see it's in the plastic and whatnot. It's not just hanging on a hanger. You guys definitely have a good condition stuff. Oh yeah, absolutely. And the sports ranges from all other sports, you know? Uh, Pretty much all major sports, NBA, NFL, NHL, okay. we take everything. Awesome. And then I do notice one rack behind here. Would, would this be like your vintage rack? It would be, we're just getting started on the whole vintage game, a little okay. late, but yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely vintage is oh, got in the hype, so. Absolutely. Yeah, so we got some Nautica pieces, as you guys see. It's like a Nautica, little sailing flags right there. So you have the sailing flags on the back. Nice little Tommy piece. So they got a little everything. I see some Tommy, some Mitchell and Ness, as well as Polo. Let's see, we got a Hilfiger Athletics. Now, 
I see the vintage. I see the sports. Now, where would the hype beast come to shop in your Let's store? Let's go. Let's take a look. Oh, I see. I see it off rip already. We got that Gucci box logo. Uh, probably the cleanest one you'll find. I gotta say. Yeah, that's crazy. Tags perfectly in place. The logo. You can see that. I don't think I've ever seen one in person either. That's crazy. That, that, this clean, right? Yeah, exactly. No stains, nothing. Look at some other pieces. Oh, we got that. We got that bape. Just in case you guys don't uh, mess with Supreme, you know, we got some bape for sure. For the high beast. Got a little CDG. If you like designers, we got you covered on that too. There you go. Play Garcon. As you guys know, they just did a collab with Supreme, which they do almost every single year. So now those seem to be a little bit more hyped. Bape hoodie. That thing's crazy. Color block. It almost gives like that vintage look in exactly. the colors. It's crazy. Well, it's got a new release. Got the Dreams T Supreme and some Palace. Palace. Kelly Palace out of the mix. Which is kind of crazy or it's kind of funny because Florida, you don't see Palace too much. You know, obviously it's a London brand. You see that in Cali and LA, but down here you Definitely don't. Definitely a dope off-white piece right here. Off-white. See your favorite rappers wearing this piece right here. Supreme. Bring long tees. Alice in here, more bait, designers like Y3, Treasure, stuff like that, bait. This probably should have been in the vintage collection, but I yep. no piece. You guys remember the oh, polar bear, bear with the tuxedo bear? Came out not too long ago, but still sought out for, sold out in all the polo bear stores. A dope pit piece right here for polo, polo bear. Do you guys remember this? This was hyped up as well. These were things selling like crazy, perfect. Clean too. Designer for the designer heads here, Burberry, Von Down. Can't go wrong with this one here. Mason Margiela t shirt. So, whatever you're into, we got you covered. Uh, brought a little everything though. You know, we got right, some beaters, we got some dead stock stuff. Kind of just threw it in a pile. I mean, right. kind of is what it is. If you want, let's look at the yep. Ooh, stuff in the boxes first. Now. We got some uh, Supreme. Supreme Blazers. They released last year. Uh, they sold out instantly, which is kind of crazy because Nike SB you would think is dead, but I guess anything with Supreme probably sells. That's right. So That's really clean. Now, when you guys are buying shoes, do you obviously you guys inspect everything, make sure they're authentic? Yeah. And... So what we do is we look for, make sure obviously they're authentic. We look for any major flaws they may have. Okay. Even sometimes like they might be new, but we all know factories mess up yeah and you'll get something called a factory flaw so we got to make sure that we don't find anything on here that will uh, decrease the value but they look to be very very clean yeah they've been i don't see any issues sense. with these do you guys look for specific items that you want people to bring in or is it kind of just a mixture of everything you know we pretty like much take everything. you know everything uh obviously we look for what our customers want okay so we mostly focus on like retro J's and foam posits and obviously the Adidas Easy, and Easy, and everything that's all that. Yeah, stuff like this we take all the time too. But obviously, as we know, it doesn't move as well as some of the hype and stuff. So, but we take pretty much everything. We try yeah, yeah. to accommodate all our customers. These are probably not too many people have seen Sacconis or Sacconis. No, you don't have too many do. people asking for Sacconis down here in South Florida. Yeah, especially with the runners nowadays. It's like, I don't know if it's going to be in hype or not hype. These are new as well? Warm. Yeah, yeah, never used. And then if you guys are gonna buy, how do you guys usually figure out pricing? Do you guys look at other markets? Or yeah, we try to beat out, honestly, our competitors. Okay. Um, because obviously everybody knows there's a lot of competition. Yeah. So if we can give you guys a better price, we definitely try to do that. Okay. With that at the same time. Um, yeah, yeah. You know. And now obviously I am bringing beaters and some are brand new. Um, now, if some people bring in a shoe that you might not think will sell, will you always buy it, or will no, you say of course, sometimes? No, I mean, that... unfortunately, we can't buy everything that walks yeah, through the door. But I would say we buy probably at least eighty percent of the stuff that okay. walks through the door. Yeah. Like I said, I did bring some beaters. If you guys remember, I found these Kyrie's thrifting, as well as these Jordan ones, and these Agassiz. All right, so they took their time and looked over the sneakers I brought. Again, I didn't bring too much stuff. I brought a couple beaters just to get an idea to show you guys what they might want to buy or what they're willing to buy. So right here we have the four sneakers that they did buy. They picked up these RTTG City Pack Edition Jordan 1s. 
Got the metallic with the gum bottom, Jordan 1s. The Supreme Blazers. And then the Miami edition of the Nike Air Force. Now what they passed up on, which again are the beaters, are these Jordan 1s that I thrifted. These Agassiz. The Kyries. And the Prestos. Now, I can probably guess why he didn't buy these two is because they're beater, 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 and as you guys see, the beater box is already full. But can you just tell the viewers why you passed up on these two? So for this shoe here, there's a couple of reasons. One, as you can see, there's no original laces. And just the other reason is they're not really in demand right now, so they would be sitting for a while. And instead of me lowballing you, we just politely pass up certain shoes. This way nobody feels offended. Yeah, and say, like, we don't screw that story. Right yeah, here, exactly. yeah, exactly. As far as runners, everybody knows right now, Adidas is killing it. So everybody's getting runners, getting the end of these. Yeah, staying away from yeah, that. Yeah, and even, like the, even if they do get Nike, it's mostly like the Haraji and yeah. stuff like that. So we try to stay away from shoes that we feel are going to sit for too long okay. and just collect dust. But we can definitely do something with these here. Okay. Uh, what were you trying to get for these uh, one, two, three, four shoes here? Um, to be honest, I, I didn't really have a number in mind, uh, but if I were to throw one out, um, probably, like I said, just retail on these or so. Um, I'd probably be at like 210 for all of them. We'll stay okay, up there. I mean, yeah, we're not that far off. I mean, I'd probably offer somewhere in the range of like 200 cash or maybe like 240 store credit. Okay. And obviously you can pick and decide which option you want to go with. Okay. So either 240 store credit or about 2 cash? Yeah. Okay. Um, let me take a look around and yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'll go from there, I guess. Let me know. So you guys know that I already have my vintage game pack. Like I go thrifting every single day, so I'm not really looking for vintage, but I am trying to be a hype beast. So I'm gonna kind of take a look at this now. I was looking at this, but I feel like what, what do you guys add on this? You, like, Honestly, like if you look around, see what they're selling for, like competitors. Yeah, I know they go for about 700 plus. That's and they're way worse condition than this yeah. one. And I'm only selling the 500. 500. 500 guys, a Gucci box logo. Damn, that's sick. Another piece that I was looking for personal, which is this big, just because, like I said, I do have the vintage game strong, but this thing is just, it looks kind of gives you both, exactly. right? Exactly, like the color blocking with the camo, and you know, it has that hype beast with the vape and the shark and whatnot. It's so easy to match. Any color you throw on, it works, man. Exactly, and I imagine you won't see a lot of people wearing this. I mean, how many, you walk down the street and you see people wearing the regular vape, but I don't think people are gonna be rocking this. Oh, I'm this what price did you have on this? I think I saw like, they were going for like, like three-ish or something? Yeah, we're, we're asking 350 for this 350? piece here. Okay. Just because you don't see this color wave as much yeah. as the other ones. And it's a little older piece as well. Do you know exactly. when it's released by any chance? I would probably say um, early 2000s. Early 2000s, wow, okay, awesome. This might be a, this might be a, See what else they got there. Dream, Dream shirt. If you guys remember this release not too long ago, I feel like this was a slept piece. Like the graphics on this, like, I don't know why people didn't, especially with that Supreme in big letters. And the quality actually too. Yeah. Like, you can feel it. It's not like that raggedy Supreme stuff that you sometimes get from them. Yeah. And it's not heavy also. Like it's it's good quality, but it's light for the summer. Like it's going to be breathable or not. What were you guys asking on this? It's 100. 100 bucks. I was kind of looking at this off-white, but I don't know if I can do it. I think it's too crazy with the color blocking. What kind of uh, price on this? Uh, this one is 600 600 well, It just depends what you're going to lock with it. I mean, honestly, it's another piece that's really easy to match. Yeah. Top three ones. Yeah, that Perfect. is true. That is true. Throw some bright ones, royal ones that just drop. Really can't go wrong with this piece here. Yeah. Easy to match. And like you said, another uh, rappers have used this, so... Probably don't see this too yeah, often. Yeah, you saw a lot of rappers wearing it when it came out, which obviously blew it off and made the price go up. Yeah. But blame the rappers, guys. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, I love this Gucci box look. If you guys know I love Gucci, and obviously that's not Gucci main, but it's Gucci. And then I was feeling this, but I don't know if I'm trying to spend that much today. So do you have anything maybe a little bit Something less? in the blue yeah, budget. All right. Let me show you some things. See what he got for us. Got a piece here that won't make you drop the big bucks, but put you in the game. Ooh, do you guys know what this is? This is the ASAP collab with Guess. You guys know ASAP is doing his thing with Guess. He's done multiple things. So got the Guess Club with the little Guess triangle right there. I did say I was trying to stay away from vintage, but 
And I don't know, I think I might have to pull the trigger with this one. Also see a couple Bape and Supreme hats yeah, you got? Yeah, stuff here. You know, people don't want to spend the too much five stuff. panel. How much are we asking on this? Oh, uh, that chance? one is 200. 200, yeah. Then we got some Supreme hats as well. This is an older piece here. Yeah. Obviously the panel hats are the best ones. Yeah. This material is crazy too. Then you got the 2016 Supreme hat right here. I'm just curious, what are you asking on these? Uh, this one is 70, this one's 100. 70 and 100. It's not bad. All right, so obviously we have a couple of Supreme hats, bait towel yeah, went up, yeah. but I'm looking and we didn't even touch, but they got some designer stuff. So if you want to maybe yeah, let the viewers sweet. know what we got for the designers. I see a couple ball main jeans right there. Got to your Mason Margellas. MCM. Can't go wrong with MCM. Everyone, I feel like everyone is hyped on MCM. It's not a backpack, they have a belt or whatnot. Everybody rocking these right now. I feel like those are South Beach shoes. Like, Definitely, man. Live Miami, live on Sunday. Watch, you guys are, they'll be rocking these all day. It's crazy. And $600 too, which to be honest, I don't know what retail on this, but if I had to guess, what, a few grand? Uh, retail on those is 1200 1200 They're brand so new, so you're getting them for half, half off. Half off. See, if you guys want designer shoes, look at that. Brand new. And they go quick. Off. So what you see now won't be here tomorrow, and we get new stuff in every day. So your chamois, those that know about this, know what's up. Probably the best designer shoe out, if you ask me. Yeah, I personally love Buscemi. Uh, if you guys know, every time I go to the mall, I always go to Neiman Marcus and look at the different limited edition ones they have. and. The color combinations that they come out with is just absolutely insane. Yeah, the craftsmanship is yeah, on the Yeah, crazy. And then you got the Balmain black and then custom bleach here. Someone custom bleached yeah. Balmains? That's yeah. crazy. Wow. They did People can't even afford real Balmains and look, someone's throwing bleach on real Balmains. These are the ones that are actually made in Paris, not the cheaper ones that you can Oh, get. there's different ones? Yeah, there's different no ones. Idea. So this is the actual ones that are made in Paris. These will retail you for probably about $1,400, $1,500. And then the ones that are made not in Paris? You can get them for under a thousand. Under a thousand? Yeah. Are they Those still... are the ones that you see hanging most of the time at stores. And it's still ball main though? Like it's, it's just still a ball USA. Yeah, exactly. They just make them, I think, in China or something. Oh, that's crazy. I had no idea about that. See? You learn something new every day. You even got babe stickers. So even if you come in with a dollar, you can still leave with some. Well guys, I don't know, I'm really feeling this big. Like I said, it does give that vintage look with the color blocking and just something you don't see every day. But, I don't know, might have to be a cop, might have to be a cop, guys. Much as I wanted this, I had the intention of coming today just to kind of make a little cash. That's the reason why I brought it, not to spend it. So I am gonna hold off on this and gonna take his 200 offer. Like I said, I wanted 210, but 200, you know, $10 is more than reasonable. So I'll definitely take your cash offer. We got the blue crispies. 20, 40, 60, 80, 2. That's that easy, like that. Just that like easy. that. Easy. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you, brother. brother. Appreciate it. And just like that, I'm out of the store with $200 in my pocket. So if you guys are local, if you want to come here and sell your sneakers or just come by, check it out. Make sure you guys check out Sneaker Union USA. I think I'm probably going to do a pop-up shop like of my vintage clothes here. Now, I'm not going to do it right away. You know, I want to definitely build up hype maybe in the next two weeks or so. But I think I'm going to bring a rack of vintage clothes here. So if you guys are local, you can come by and shop. And that way you can kind of get a feel of my inventory, but in person. So if you guys think that's a good idea, make sure you leave it down below. If any locals, um, leave the comments down below. Let me know if you think I should do a pop-up here or if I should start leaving my vintage clothes here. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. We're almost at 5,500 subs. We're on our way to 10K, on our way to a million. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget, guys, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Let's get it, guys. I'm smoking with those two assaults. Money coming from the vault. I get the drip from my wall. I get the drip from my wall.